Whenever you hear the words sugar sweet nightmare, your first thought is probably that of confusion. The words sugar sweet sound like they belong in a completely different universe from the word nightmare. Sugar Sweet Nightmare is the opening song for Bakemonogatari's fifth and final arc, following the story of Tsubasa Hanakawa. Those of you who have watched enough of the Monogatari series know that this oxymoronic song title is actually reflective of Hanakawa's internal struggles in life, as well as the manifestation of her alternate form, Black Hanakawa. So, this seemingly weird song title actually fits the theme of Hanakawa's arc quite well. What I want to talk about today is the fact that Sugar Sweet Nightmare's music theory is actually reflective of this theme as well, via its use of something called the Picardy Third. The Picardy Third refers to when a song takes place primarily in a minor key, but at the end of a phrase, it will end on the tonic major instead of on the tonic minor. The minor third that you would expect to hear is replaced with a major third, which in this case is called the Picardy Third. Sugar Sweet Nightmare happens to feature a Picardy Third quite prominently in its main theme. Take a listen. The major third gives the phrase a brighter tone at the ending and its unexpected nature uplifts the listener and really gets them to engage with the listening experience. For context, let's see what happens when we take out the Picardy third and just leave the final chord as a minor chord. For me, that definitely sounds fine, but it lacks a certain level of mystery and intrigue that the original version had. Additionally, let's remember that Sugar Sweet Nightmare is supposed to be a reflection of Hanakawa. This song takes place primarily in a minor key to show Hanakawa's inner struggles, and the lyrics of the song reflect this as well. However, the Picardy Third at the end of the song's main theme serves as a reminder of the outward personality that Hanakawa normally puts on display. The major chord is bright and uplifting, just like how Hanakawa aims to be despite her internal struggles. Without the Picardy Third, the song just doesn't match Hanakawa's character as well, and it's these subtle yet integral details in the OPs for the Monogatari series that make them so special. The words Sugar Sweet Nightmare definitely sound strange and out of place at first, but I hope you can now all appreciate the brilliant connection that the song's title and music theory makes to the main character of this arc. Thank you all so much for watching! If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. I've been going on a bit of a spree of Monogatari series songs lately, so if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments. Until next time, this has been Syntax404, signing off.